Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vago Maradian. The U.S. Navy recently began at sea operational testing of its version of the F 35 Lightning II fighter. Over the next several weeks, the USS Abraham Lincoln, operating off the Atlantic coast, will treat the stealthy new Lockheed Martin jet as if it were already in service, with around the clock operations that include practicing strike, intelligence and reconnaissance, signal gathering, and other missions. After the testing is finished, a detailed report is going to be put together to determine lessons learned and next steps for the program to prepare it to go into service in 2021. Equally key is refining maintenance methods and integrating the new plane within the carrier air wing. That today includes F-18 Super Hornet fighters and Growler jammers, as well as E-2 Hawkeye airborne early warning aircraft and H-60 helicopters. There are six F-35s aboard Lincoln, along with nearly 40 other aircraft. Lincoln rejoined the fleet last year after a four-year refueling and overhaul, during which the ship was fitted with capabilities to support the F-35. We were among 18 reporters invited aboard Lincoln to see the operational trials of the F-35C firsthand and talk to key Navy leaders. Flying out to the ship from Norfolk aboard a venerable C-2 Greyhound carrier onboard delivery aircraft. Once aboard, we got a chance to see the action on Lincoln's four and a half acre flight deck with F-35s and F-18s engaged in cyclic, high intensity operations. We heard from Rear Admiral Woody Haran, the director of the Navy's Joint Strike Fighter Fleet Integration Effort, Captain Putnam Brown, Lincoln's commanding officer, Commander Tommy Locke, the commanding officer of Strike Fighter Squadron 125 that is equipped with the new Lockheed Martin jet, and Captain Lance Norris, the Deputy Combined Test Director of the JSF Operational Test Team. Again, we are out here operating at sea, integrated in with an air wing. So the F-35C is going out and flying with F-18s, E-2s, Growlers, and conducting missions that they would do in combat if required, and conducting that training. That's a big deal because it's the first time we really see one, how the airplane handles on the aircraft carrier, how we do maintenance, how we sustain it while we're at sea, and then how it integrates with the ship, how it interoperates with communications, data links, the other aircraft, and then how we conduct the mission and tie into the other aircraft that are conducting that mission and how effective they are when they do it. Each airplane uh, has its own are they idios idiosyncrasies around the aircraft carrier, particularly towing it, moving it around. And until you get it, get an airplane out and mixed with other airplanes, you don't necessarily grasp those differences. And that's what we're doing out here now. And I, I will tell you, as I said, for the first two days or so, everybody's like, wow, F-35s, F-35s, and now it's, hey, they're airplanes. And to be honest with you, it hasn't been challenging at all. So it's, it's, it's functioned very, uh, it, it's seamless from my perspective. You know, right here, I'm, I'm shooting the airplanes and we're covering the airplanes, and it's been fairly seamless. And before we go, a very special thanks to everybody who made this trip possible. From the Joint Strike Fighter Office for their generous invitation, and to all the Navy public affairs professionals in Washington, Norfolk, and aboard the Lincoln for their great support, and a special thanks to Captain Brown for hosting us aboard his ship. Thanks very much again, and thanks for joining us, and we'll see you soon.